Right, we're here at Duffield Squash Club and we're just catching up with uh, Nick Matthew who's uh, fresh back from the US Open and has just played a PSL squash match for Duffield. Um, good win there, Nick 3-love. And basically we're just, we're just really sort of uh, trying to catch up and see if there's anything new uh, in our sort of series of what's in your bag. We've done one before and uh, really an update to see if you're bringing anything new from when we did it uh, about a year ago. Okay, so... Um I've been told my racket bag's like a metaphor for my mind, so I've got two pockets which are nice and tidy, and then one pocket in the middle, which as you can see is quite chaotic, chaotic. so that's a bit like the broom cupboard in your house under the stairs, that you just shove everything in and then the other two are really tidy, so that's a bit of a metaphor for how my mind works, some good bits, some not so good. I've got um, five rackets there, that's how many I sort of usually travel with, so I've got enough. Um, all freshly strung up at 27 um, pounds. Um, yeah, what, what's, all, what string is it that you...? Uh, I use Ashaway um, Paranix, so uh, 118 I think. So uh, yeah, they're all freshly strung. I'll get them re-strung tomorrow, ready for the world. And I won't touch them until sort of the day before, so they're nice and fresh. Um, people have commented I always seem to use yellow on my match grips, but you can see on other ones that I practice with, there's some blue, there's some... Uh, Gray there, whatever, and then I just keep my stencil. And if you know, it's the black book on all my opponents, which I won't uh, tell you about. I keep that to myself, so I should hopefully no one will steal that. Um, the other neat pocket is I've got my trainers, they're my runners, and they're the new squash shoes actually. A new plug for my new high tech shoe that's just coming out now. So I'm going to be using this. The world has probably come a little bit too soon, but Qatar will hopefully have a summer foot. So um, you're definitely going to be wearing, wearing I'll be wearing this, this one, I promise. <laughs> so yeah, um, skipping rope for warm up and stuff. Keep that in there so it stays nice and dry. Um, middle one, this is the chaotic part. I've got my drink that's empty. I've just played Sorrow of Ghost Style, so my electrolyte is empty now. I'm chugging, swigging on my recovery drink, which for me is the most important thing post-match because you don't always feel like eating and you need to get something into your body sort of within half an hour of playing really so that's that um, that's important um, just spare shirts um, I have my um, my watch my interval watch I use for training um, therabands and stuff that I do all my shoulder exercises uh, religiously warm up with those uh, when I'm warming up for a match and probably will be the one thing I won't miss when I retire is not having to do the Therabands, uh, stuff that's sort of the bane of my existence, those things, but need them. Uh, nice pair of dock box shorts. Done lots of play with everything these days, even boxer shorts. There we go. <laughs> um, yeah, a million sweatbands, iPod for uh, warming up, all my gels and energy bars, and one thing and another. So that pocket, as I said, it's a bit of a, a bit of a mumbo jumbo pocket, a bit lottery there. Um, this is, you don't want to go in that end one, that's my dirty kit. Neil Gary calls this racket bag the inception bag. I think the old Dunlop racket bag didn't have enough pockets, so this one's got pockets within pockets. So it's a, there's a million and one hidden compartments. So this is another compartment here with loads of hidden ones. I've got things compied and taped to tape up my feet if I ever get blisters. I've got my contact lenses so I can see drips, balls, hockey ball, which I use for my plantar fascia. I roll it under my foot every time before I play. Um, golf ball, same sort of thing if you want to get into sort of smaller areas. Um, tennis ball, which I use sometimes to warm up to. If anyone's sort of seen the game, we play tennis on the squash court, just throwing the ball and you've got to catch it before it bounces twice and it's a bit of a movement game to warm up. So I sometimes do that, it's a bit of a fun warm up. And then ball, spare shoelaces, Tom Richards, take note. Um, he would break his lace and then I had to lend him one in the British Open last year, so. <laughs> And uh, yeah, that's just about it, really. That's it, brilliant. Okay, well, thanks a lot for taking the time to uh, see what's in Nick Matthews' squash bag. Cheers.